Image warping and shape deformation may be achieved in real time using linear blend skinning on a set of control handles. Our work focuses on three common modes for interaction for linear blend skinning deformation, point-based, skeleton-based, and cage-based. With point-based interaction, the user applies transformations to a small set of unconnected points. Point-based interaction is well suited for touch-based interfaces. With skeleton-based interaction, an internal skeleton is rigged to the shape. The user may manually transform the bones or attach them to motion capture output. External cages are increasingly popular because they provide high quality results with many degrees of freedom. Each control handle type has an appropriate task. Allowing the user to freely choose and combine types of control is important. Here, a skeleton is used to open the alligator's mouth, a cage to enlarge the back, and points to bend the tail. Restricting users to only one handle type poses problems. For example, it would be very tedious to open the mouth of an external cage. Scaling with only points lacks precision and non-uniform control, and skeletons are too rigid and require too many points to bend the tail smoothly. We present Bounded by Harmonic Weights, a single technique that unifies points, skeletons, and cages and allows combinations of these handle types. To unify these techniques, we give a method that computes blending weights for points, skeletons, and cages. For each handle, weights are pre-computed for each location on the shape, visualized here in red with white isolines. These weights may then be used in a standard real-time linear blend skinning deformation. We provide an automatic method for computing weights that are smooth, positive, shape-aware, and have no local maxima. These weights are the solution to minimizing the Laplacian energy subject to the constraint that all weights are between 0 and 1. Our weights are smooth everywhere, including internal handles, whereas many natural approaches lead to C1 discontinuities at handles. These approaches mandate external cages as internal handles introduce tearing artifacts in the deformed texture. By construction, our weights are always positive. Positive weights are necessary to maintain an intuitive response to the user's deformation. The blue region in the bottom animation denotes negative weights and moves in the opposite direction of the translated handle. Our weights are intuitively local and shape-aware. The effect of non-local weights may be subtle. Though all weights may be non-negative, regions far away from handles with even slight positive weights lead to unintuitive behavior. With our weights pre-computed, the user applies affine transformations to the handles, and the deformations intuitively propagate to the rest of the shape using linear blend skinning. Cages may be placed inside the shape and combined with skeletons and points. Here, a hybrid cage is used to push the leaning tower of Pisa in the other direction. The Mona Lisa painting is deformed using an external cage to control the boundary and internal points to apply rotation and scaling effects. Despite the benefits of our weights, we think the original is still better. The weights at each handle may also be used to define the layer ordering in 2D rendering so that the shape appears to overlap and weave itself. Our weights require bind time energy minimization, but because of this, it is easy to add additional constraints. Here, the right eye is constrained to stay rigid as the user deforms the nose. Our weights also generalize to 3D, where the target shape is a surface mesh. Here weights for real-time deformation are shown for each bone of an internal skeleton and point handles on the tail and ears. Our weights match the quality of the Pinocchio project of Baron and Popovich 2007. Here a mouse is animated with motion capture data controlling a skeleton. But the rigid skeleton leaves the tail looking inanimate and stiff. To fix this, we can use point controls to add bends in the mouse's tail. Also, we use a partial cage around the belly to make him a bit fatter. Here we use the same motion capture data to animate a human skeleton embedded in the body of a mouse we edited using our weights. Our automatic computation of high quality blending weights for arbitrary handles enables much more flexible deformation controls than previously possible. Thank you for watching.